everyone. We are so glad that you've joined us here at the brand new Rich Kids North Castle. It's a lot of fun here in the castle, and we are so glad you're joining us. We sure miss seeing you in person, though. We sure do. We can't wait until we're back together, but at least we can be together like this. That's right, and we get to see our friend Sparky. Hi, everyone. Sparky, we are so glad you're coming to Rich Kids with us. And we're so glad you brought Ollie. Ollie is so excited to lead us through some pretty awesome adventures in the Bible. I'm excited too. We are going to learn that this world that God made for us is just perfect. And amazing. And fabulous. And wonderful. And awesome. And fantastic. Whoa. I think what you're saying is, that it is indescribable. That's right. We have an indescribable God who made an indescribable world. And we're going to follow Ollie through the Bible to learn all about that. That's right. So hold on for some really big adventures. And welcome to Bridge Kids North Castle. Have you ever wondered how many stars are in the sky? Or how they shine so bright? Or how many fish are in the sea? And how they got their beautiful colors? Or how every single tiny snowflake has its own unique design? We may not know all the answers to these questions, but we know who does. God created every person, animal, and tree. He knows every star in the galaxy and every grain of sand on the beach. The same God who created the universe knows every hair on my head and every dream in my heart. He is the designer of it all, and He knows us by name. He loves us. He cares for us. And to know that is to know something that is truly indescribable. Thank you for this day. Thank you for all the wonderful things you have given us. And thank you for keeping us safe during the coronavirus. Amen. Jennifer, what is he doing? I don't know. Ask him. No, you ask him. Um, Robbie, what are you doing? <laughs> Call me Maestro Robbie. Okay, Maestro Robbie, what are you doing? That's better, that's better, I like that. I'm demonstrating my talents. Yeah, well, I think you are a pretty great demonstration of this month's Life App. Let's tell all of our friends what a Life App is. Well, sure, it's something that God does inside of you to change the world around you. Awesome! Maestro Robbie, do you want to reveal our new Life App? Why, yes, I do, Jennifer. All right, let's start a drum roll with your legs, everybody. Creativity is imagining what you could do because you're made in God's image. That was uh, interesting. Something tells me that you've been imagining things. Oh, yes, I have. By using my imagination, I discovered I have not been using my creative musical talents to my full extent. So that inspired you to play an instrument? It did. And you've been practicing? Every single day for the last today. Sounds about right. In fact, I've dedicated myself to mastering the most beautiful moving instruments ever created. The trumpet? The recorder! That was something. Oh, that's nothing. I've prepared an entire concert. Well, that would be a fantastic treat for, for later. It's now or never, Julie. Here, put this on me. On? Yeah. yeah, put it on me while I play. Um, okay. Wow, that, that was great. Look, look at the time. We better, uh... That, that was just a 
warm up, prepare for my first solo number. Julie, do 
you know what it, what it's called when a snowman has a temper tantrum? A meltdown. Get it? A meltdown. I get it. I get it. But Sparky, there won't be any meltdowns today. Today we are learning that there's no limit to God's creativity. I want to learn more. Then I guess it's time to follow Ollie on today's Bible adventure. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. In the beginning, the world was empty. Darkness was everywhere. But God had a plan. God separated the light from the darkness. Let there be light, he said, and the light turned on. He called the light day, and he called the darkness night. This was the end of the very first day. Then God said, I will divide the waters. He separated the waters in the clouds above from the waters in the ocean below. He called the space between them sky. This was the end of the second day. Next, God rolled back the waters and some dry ground appeared. He made plants of many shapes and colors. He made mountains, hills, and valleys. This was the end of the third day. God put a shining sun in the sky for daytime. He put a glowing moon and twinkling stars in the sky for nighttime. This was the end of the fourth day. On the fifth day, God made swishy fish and squiggly creatures to live in the ocean. Then God made birds to fly across the sky. On the sixth day, God made animals to creep, crawl, hop, and gallop. Then from the dust, God made the most wonderful creature of all, a person. God named him Adam. On the seventh day, God rested. Wow, just wow. There really is no limit to God's creativity. He can do so much. He can create amazing things. He can love with a heart that's bigger than you can imagine. He can laugh and cry and play and dream and, well, anything. But do you know what's so cool about that? God created us, that's you and me, in his image. And because God created us to be in his image, we can do all of those really cool things too. Wow, God really is indescribable. Wow, we are back at Bridge Kids. Not just Bridge Kids, Bridge Kids North Castle. Um, are we not going to talk about the giant orange and purple dragon standing here? Uh, that's Sparky. Remember him from Vacation Bible School? Oh yeah, welcome Sparky. Thanks for having me guys. I'm very excited to be here, but a little nervous too. I have never been to Bridge Kids before. Bridge Kids is awesome. You're going to love it. It's a lot like Vacation Bible School. Oh, well I can handle that. I'm just so glad to be back at Bridge Kids North Castle and see all the amazing things. I mean, this is a really cool castle. And did you see the moat? How cool was that? In the night. Don't forget the night. Outside, there are all of these trees and grass and rivers and streams and just so much that I can't even handle it. I wonder who built all of those things. Who built all of those things? like the trees and grass and streams. Yeah, I mean, we know that someone built the castle, but who built all that stuff? Hey kids, it's Sparky. What are you talking about? Well, Sparky, ask a question that none of us knew the answer to. Oh yeah? What's that? Well, we know who built the castle, but who built all the trees and grass and streams? And everything else that we see outside. Well, God did, of course. God built all of that by himself? That's right. Everywhere you look, you see God's creation. He built all of these beautiful 
things for us to enjoy. That's amazing! It really is. There's no limit to God's creativity. You are exactly right, Sally. Well, we better go so our friends can get back to all their activities at Bridge Kids on Castle. That's a good idea. I think I'm going to fly around and look at all of God's creation. Bye. So now we're going to do our memory verse. But first, I have some pretty cool, awesome hand motions that goes along with it. So we're going to say, Lord. You can put your hands up just like this. Lord. And then we're going to say, you are great. And we're going to go, you are great. And then you're going to point up again. You, and then you're going to go in a circle, are really worthy of praise. Then next, you're going to go, no one can completely understand how great you are. And then put your hands like you were holding the Bible. Psalm 145.3. That was great. All right, so let's try it all together. Ready? Lord, you are great. You are really worthy of praise. No one can completely understand how great you are. Psalm 145.3. Welcome to Bridge Kids Craft Time. Today's craft is a color your own creation will. Color each picture on your creation will. This page is doing for us now. Perfect. Once you've colored both pieces of your will using the brad provided, there's a hole in the center for you to attach it, push it through. And then spread apart the brad on the back, which will allow for your creation wheel to spin. And whenever you spin it, you will see what God created on each day. And on the seventh day, he rested to see all the wonderful things that he created for us. And here is your finished craft. Father, 
thank you so much for this incredible world you created for us. Help us to see everything you made with fresh eyes this week. Keep us curious and excited about discovering new things. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. And now we have one more prayer from one of our incredible bridge kids from North Castle. See y'all next week. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for everyone who is attending Bridge Kids. And thank you for our teachers and our friends. Thank you for loving us. Amen.